Avenue. Oh. Uh. 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 <laughs> Susu, hello, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time visiting, hi, thanks for stopping by. I upload Sims 4 content here a couple of times every week. Today we are continuing on with the month of Sundays. This is where we've played My Sims Sunday through her life as a child. And this is the most exciting episode for me. Because as you can see, that is our Sims Sunday and she is no longer a child. So this is Sunday's very special birthday episode. I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Oh no. Sunday, you're going to be sad. Loss in the family gonna hurt for a little while it is gonna hurt for a little while let's put Nana Hannah let's put Nana Hannah near the rocking chair where she always used to be oh engrave the epitaph Nana Hannah. Ah, uh, that is sad. I know. It's so sad, Sunday. Oh no. Why is she not at school? She hasn't got school today because she just grew up. Rimbo, Flazzle, V. Dawson, Bara. Huh? Okay. For a week now, a kid has been taking Sunday. Public shaming. Ugh. Oh dear. That is sad. Even though it's a sim, it's still sad. It is. Sunday. You've got Fred there. Why don't you um talk to him? See if it can make you better. Nan Zern is there and Fred's in his mum's old rocking chair. Oh. Maybe this can bring the family together. Bringing the family oh. together. It's nice to see all the girls spending time together without Sage wrecking something. She's out of control. Her temper is destructive. Like whenever Sunday has a school project or a doll's house, Sage just comes along and smashes it. But it's really nice to see them all chatting together. I wish the mum had come over and interact. They haven't spent this much time together when Nan was alive. Here's Mum. Why don't you help with the project so we can get it done before Sage goes on another rampage. And we can get it finished and be out of here. 
Wow. the skill. Awesome. Isn't that lovely? Family time. Quality family time. Let's see if we can get them all to interact with each other a bit. Yeah, Shelby gets a bit left out. She has since she was a toddler. But she's managed to get this far. So I'm hoping Sunday and Shelby can become friends now. I think Frederick and Sage just became best friends, which is okay. Man, this weather. Yeah, let's see if we can build some relationships so that when Sunday is an adult, she can still have really good, strong relationships with her family. Look at this. That's quality time. That is definitely quality family time. Look at this, Nana Hannah's ghost is in the house. So it's just like we never even lost her. She's playing with clay. Why do they always play with clay? Oh, Nana Hannah. Great. And of course, it wouldn't be a month of Sunday's episode if Romeo didn't need to go to the vet and cost the best family a fortune. Fortunately, I have added Nana Hannah's ghost to the household so she is still able to take him to the vet. No one seems to think that's odd that there's a ghostly apparition checking in a cat for treatment. But I think this is going to be a regular thing. I think every episode, I betcha, Romeo needs to go to the vet. Frederick, you've got to put an end to it with summer holiday. She came in before and she just stole the kid's computer, like right in front of them. Is there anything else she can steal from this family? So Fred has invited her over and he's going to break it off once and for all. There she is, Fred. Just to, straight away, just do it. Take your residence key back. I didn't know you'd given it to her and just break it off just no messing about she has to know it's unacceptable for her to steal from your children she's not just affecting your marriage now she's affecting your children give it back you have we're over this is it we're done summer it wasn't him, it was you. Okay, water shutoff day is now in effect. Oh, we're going to have a whole heap of stinkos. Where are you, Sunday? You're very sad. Come on. It's okay, because Nana's ghost is still here. Do your homework. That'll always make you feel better. Okay, you've got some projects to do. Solar system, medieval castle, medieval castle. You've done all that. Oh, that's right. Summer holiday stole the computer. Hmm. 
which he worked hard to afford and now he can't afford a replacement. It's a great photo of Nan. Pity she's all stinky. <laughs> Okay, let's get through this. What's wrong with Frederick? No! Summer, we're not going with you. Fred's marriage is not going backwards. I wonder how close we are getting to Sunday aging up. Wait a minute. What's it saying? It's Sunday's birthday? Your sim is ready to age up. Perform the blowout candles, make a wish, or taste frost. Well, what the heck? How did we not notice that? Man, somebody better wake up and get her a cake. No, that won't do. Cook a hamburger cake, just like Nan would have. He needs, he needs a vacation. No, he can just be happy at home for a little bit. Yeah, well, you can have some in a minute, Nan's ghost. What's happened here? Oh, good. Nothing. Let's see if he can make a cake as good as Nan. Oh, water shut off days. Done. Great. Come on, it's Sunday's birthday, for heaven's sakes, in summer. What a great time to have your birthday. Come on, Fred. Fred, you can do it. You don't need to go to sleep yet. He's done it. Where's he going to put it? Add birthday candles. Go, Fred, you can do it. It's Sunday's birthday. Great. Blow out the candles. It's time. It's time, Sunday. Oh, Nan's ghost's there. Everyone's excited to see you age up here, Sunday. Can you get to that there? The moment we've been waiting for. Happy birthday! Yeah. Happy birthday, Sunday. Okay, now is where it really gets to it. This is going to start affecting her grown-up life. Hmm. Do we want her to be creative, musical genius, lady of the knits, master maker, best-selling author, painter extraordinaire? Maybe we want her to be a painter. Hmm. Well, she can work on being creative for now, and we'll do that, and we'll get her an easel, and we'll stop letting random sims... Oh, Sunday. Happy birthday. Mm -hmm. There is Sunday, all grown up. I'm so excited about it. If she's energised, Sunday... Why don't you go for a jog? It's a hot day, it's your birthday, everything's broken in the house. It's 11 o'clock, I don't know if you should be jogging at night alone though. But it's a good habit to get into for the rest of your life there, Sunday. Give us a good chance to see how you're going as a teenager. I'm so glad you aged up. Oh, Animal Dump Bay. There's something wrong with that animal's feet. Maybe she does want to be a vet. I just don't know how difficult it is. I could feel that... Oh, there was where Nan died. Oh. I could feel that a sim could... overburden themselves with animals, just like toddlers. Right, Sunday, you go for a job. What's wrong? Too hot? 
too hot at 11 p.m. Overheating. You better go home. Where did you end up? Mm. Over at someone else's house. You're pretty sad about it, Sunday. It'll be alright. Keep going. So we'll leave it there for this episode of A Month of Sundays. I am really nine. happy Grab with everything we achieved in Sunday's childhood. And it really is quite difficult to like keep them on top of their schoolwork, on top of their fun, especially in a bigger family where you want them to build relationships with everyone. That's pretty difficult. Especially her sister Sage's personality makes it difficult. She's got such an obnoxious attitude. I hope they can get along better. But thank you so much for watching. Oh, I'm also really glad that Nana Hannah's ghost showed up so we can have her back in the house because she is very helpful. So thank you for watching. I hope you'll join me next week and I'll see you later. Bye. Oh, you're showing up.